TCM. Yesterday, you said the use of Chinese medicine in curing infected COVID-19 patients has proven to be very effective on the mainland. Can you share which medicines you're referring to there? And in terms of sending out TCM to particularly older um, residents, do you think there is a fear of disincentivizing them to get vaccinated if they prefer TCM? Mm -hmm. Uh, this is not something new in Hong Kong. Being a predominantly Chinese community, uh, many of us actually use Chinese medicine uh, at various stages of keeping ourselves healthy or for rehabilitation purpose. But in uh, tackling uh, COVID-19, uh, because uh, we are now, our focus is now on preventing critical illness and preventing deaths. So uh, as I have just uh, mentioned, in our public hospital system, uh, so far, it's mainly the mainstream is Western medicine. We don't even have one single Chinese medicine hospital. We are building one in Zhengguangou, but we did not have. There is a certain degree of application of Chinese medicine on a very small scale in our public hospitals. But uh, the fact is, uh, the development of Chinese medicine in Hong Kong has been uh, constrained by many factors uh, because of the history. But it doesn't mean that it is not effective. Well, in the mainland of China, uh, uh, I was told by the experts, I read a lot of literature and how they are able to cure uh, critically ill COVID-19 patients. Uh, there was a figure given to me yesterday, but I couldn't record now that many of the uh, serious and critical cases uh, in various provinces during the last two years of the epidemic have been treated effectively through application of Chinese medicine. And the experts that we have invited to Hong Kong will certainly give us uh, good advice uh, on this. Uh, we already have a, a two weeks experience of some Chinese medicine practitioners curing and looking after patients, especially elderly patients, at the Community Treatment Center at the Asia World Expo. Now, uh, you asked specifically about our sending traditional Chinese medicine to uh, all residents and whether this would disincentivize vaccination. The uh, proprietary Chinese medicine tablets that we are sending in the anti-epidemic bag to all the households in Hong Kong are for treatment. It's just like Panadol or Paracetamol. It's not for prevention, okay? So vaccination remains the most effective uh, means uh, to uh, prevent uh, an infected person uh, becoming seriously or critically ill. There is no contradiction whatsoever uh, between the two uh, missions. One is uh, to give Hong Kong residents uh, some sort of uh, uh, safeguards. Uh, when they fall ill, they could have a paracetamol, they could have this uh, proprietary Chinese medicine uh, to cure, especially if they have a uh, mild fever. Second uh, mission is to continue to encourage vaccination, especially amongst the elderly and, uh, and the young. Uh, and this is very welcome. I have to tell you that uh, the proprietary Chinese medicine uh, are very much welcomed by the people of Hong Kong whenever we go out to distribute uh, this uh, 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 supplies donated or given to us by the central uh, government.